something new. But we're not going to go out. We're just going to put it up in the closet until I decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, I just don't know if I'm, I, I want to sell it because I've never really sold things before. I have to be honest, tell you a little something about me. I usually get things on consignment and I am a person that believes when I've been blessed, it just, I, I get blessed by blessing others. So I have never sold anything. Um, I usually end up giving it away. So um, that's what usually happens, but I might get into that. I've been watching other YouTube videos and I see so many people selling and saying that they supplement their income and all those things. And you guys know I would love to supplement my income because we already talked about me and my frugal husband. So um, if I could supplement and be able to buy some more, I'm all for it. But okay, enough of that. Let's get started. So remember, we cleaned with the oil sponge because it's gonna be going away. So I'll put the oil sponge away. So, I have a lot of things in front of me right now. Um, so we're gonna be packing up the new bag. Okay, so of course I have my phone. That's gonna go there. Um, and then I also have my book, which would also go in there. I keep a book with me. I like to call this my brain. Um, I write down ideas, things that I'm thinking, um, different little things that come to me, uh, things that I need to remember to do, pick the kids up from school because school's about to start, uh, just different little things like that I like to jot down. So I always keep a notepad in my book, but I'm reading some of my notes, so that's going to be going in there eventually. Okay, so in this, this is one of the things that I put in my bag. So in here um, is just, so I travel quite a bit. Uh, and this, I like to keep this thing clear because it makes for going through TSA so much easier. They know that I'm not trying to smuggle in any contraband or anything like that. So what is in here? Some chapstick, some lipstick, some Benadryl, uh, my EpiPen because I'm allergic to everything under the sun. I'm not claiming that by God's grace, but when the anaphylaxis hits, I have no other choice but to claim it. Um, some Advil. Um, some feminine products so a lot this is all of these things that I carry in this one thing in a clear zippered bag just to make it easier for when I travel so that goes in there next I have my Chanel Sunnies mm -hmm. so that goes in there so my Chanel sunglasses jump on in there what else my selfie stick okay you, okay come on now everyone wants one it needs one in their purse there's that and then, okay, these are fun. So these little bags. So I have bags and bags. So these little bags. I get these like a lot when we travel. Like some of these are from Switzerland. Some are from, um, some are from Italy. Uh, these are little bags. And what it is, since I often go places and shop, I like to um, not get a bag. And some, a lot of places in Europe, they actually don't offer you bags. So uh, these are bags and bags, and um, it's like in the shape of different things, and you sort of just tuck them into each other, and there you go. So I have like grocery bags if I'm going to the mall. I have like bags. So again, I'm doing my part for the environment. <laughs> I think as, as much as I do these videos, you guys find out so much about me because I am really a person that, that, that's very passionate about lessening my carbon footprint. and. Uh, a lot of people that just usually see me, just a cursory look, you would not realize that that is something that means so much to me. But I really try my best to recycle, reuse, just things to not, um, to not allow me to contribute more waste to the environment. Okay, so there it is. Um, I guess, you know, I'm a tree hugger, you know, let's just put it out there. But I look fabulous while I'm doing it, darling. Um, so yeah, so these bags, I have quite a few of them. I've given, and I love these bags. I actually give these bags as gifts um, because I try and get other people to do the same thing. And they make great gifts. So I have um, five of these. And I find five to be very useful because I could go to the grocery store and grocery shop for like the week with these fives and with these five and not need um, to get a bag from my grocer. So these jump on in there. All right, so that goes in there. What else do we have in there? Oh, um, oh yes. So I know a lot of people are just like, oh my gosh, she's Debbie the Luxury Hunter and she does not even have a luxury or designer wallet. Okay, let's take a quick little story. If this video gets a little bit long because of the story, I apologize. But these are the wallets that I now carry. 
Um, one of them is like a wallet with my credit cards and, you know, probably $2 and my driver's license and those type of things. And the other ones are um, the ones that I carry my business cards in. Yes, I told you, y'all, it's legit. Debbie the Luxury Hunter. The Luxury Hunt is legit. So those are my business cards. So I tell you a little story about these, about why I started carrying these. I started carrying these wallets maybe around two, two and a half years ago. I went to the mall with a friend and I looked to the side and there was a guy with a um, baby carriage and he had a computer on top of the, 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 the baby carriage. And I was just like, that's so strange. He's not even given the baby enough room to, you know, move around or anything like that. But I was just like, you know, whatever. You know, people do different things. No judgment here. Judgment-free zone. So I didn't really question it that much. And I paid for my, took my fancy Louis Vuitton wallet out and um, paid for my uh, items, handed them my credit card with my fancy wallet and was just just felt so great about myself because I loved looking at that wallet. Anyway, um, thought nothing of it, went to another store and uh, my phone, um, probably like around three or four hours later, you know, as I'm still shopping out the day doing things like that, my phone is starting to blow up. You know, my husband is calling me, the bank is calling me, um, people are just trying to find me. That guy with the computer on top of his baby carriage, he was fishing. Yes, so he electronically stole my credit card information and with it $20,000 out of my bank account. Yes, two zero comma zero 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 twenty thousand dollars $20,000 out of my bank account. And I'm glad that he at, le at least left me with something, you know, but it wasn't much. I was devastated. So as much as those um, wallets are just so wonderful and cute and you know you know the S the SLGs the designer SLGs and it was just so great I felt violated because I had honestly saw the guy I saw him with my own eyes and I saw when he you know came close to me and he electronically received my information so after that, I said, you know what? A cute wallet, cute luxury designer wallet, it's not worth it. So since then, I have gone to all type of wallets that are RFID encased. And these wallets are. I also carry a similar one. In a few months, we'll be doing one about how the luxury, a, a video about how the luxury hunt um, travels because I'm going to be traveling um, internationally. So you'll see what I do with my passport because I use um, something very similar to this. So this, these wallets are by a company. You can get these anywhere. I've seen them at TJ Maxx. I've seen them uh, Marshalls, Steinmark, I've seen them so many places, but the company that makes them um, is a company that's called Shell D. And again, they're RFID in case. And I've actually uh, reached out to them about seeing if I could get you, my friends, a promo code so you guys could all go to this website and purchase one of these wallets because I really do believe in this. You know, identity theft is real. You know, people are stealing your money, stealing your identity. So if there's anything that I can do to protect myself against it, I'm all for it. And I want you guys to protect yourself against it also. So these are the wallets that I use. So I don't have any um, SLGs, you know, um, small leather goods by any of those high end designers because I quite honestly, I don't put my personal information in them any longer. I just, I, it's, it's happened to me. I've been stung. So I want no more of it. So this jumps on in here. So that's my story. Thank you for listening. <laughs> so let's finish packing up that bag. So those go in there. And so now the leftover plastic, our dry cleaner plastic, see I, I told you I recycle. I take those in there and I sort of just stuff them and I have some more. It worked well in the Balenciaga that I only needed three, but in this bag I'm probably going to need a couple bit more. And I put them in there so now that my bag has been cleaned. Look at how shiny that oiled leather made it. I told that it's such a great cleaner for your bag. So the bag has been cleaned, stuffed, and it is ready to go in my closet and be put away until I make a decision on what I'm going to do with it. So unfortunately, when I bought this bag, it didn't come with a dust bag. So I'm going to just slip it in the Balenciaga dust bag like so. And I will just, 
And what I do, another thing that I do, I don't close the bags all the way. It's stealing my light. The white is stealing my light, I know. So I don't close the bags all the way. I sort of like roll them down like this and draw the string because it is leather and you know it is a type of skin so it needs to breathe so I like to like leave it a little opening so the leather can breathe and then I'll just put it up in the top of my closet and that is how that's what happened to this bag so this bag is going to go away so that this bag can make its debut so that's what I got for you guys my new Balenciaga bag Four, three, two, one. So my new bag is packed. My new Balenciaga city bag that I'm enjoying that I got for a steal. But I did forget to show you guys one additional thing that I do with all my bags. So I told you I do not like to carry big bags. So what inevitably always happens, I end up throwing this in the trunk of my car. So that's another reason I don't buy a lot of big bags because I, I, they never get seen. And I actually do what I like to call do a bag in bag. I'll explain it to you. Because I don't like to carry the big bags. So I like to carry clutches. I wear a lot of clutches because, you know, I told you I have the PTSD from carrying the diaper bags. Remember? Remember all, how, all those emotions at the beginning of the video? Whew. So I have PTSD from that. So what I normally do is in all of my bags, I usually carry a clutch. And this is a great new clutch no name or anything a suede and leather clutch that I just picked up for nine dollars and look at it this is how you can carry it so I usually put this bag sorry about that my darling I usually put that bag in this bag so that is why all of my bags and end, end up living in the trunk of my car because when I need to go somewhere and I'm like oh that bag is too big I don't want to carry it I quickly empty the contents out, as many of the little bag, the, the grocery bags as I want, empty them out, throw them in there, throw my wallet in there, throw, you know, whatever in there, and this is how I will go walking in the store or wherever I need to be with a clutch instead. So there's that. So I did forget to show you guys that I always do a bag in bag. That's just something. Sorry, I don't like big bags. But before I leave you friends, thank you so much for bearing with me with the length of this video. But before I leave you, I always like to feature a consignment store and today will be no different. The consignment store that I'm going to be featuring today is the Vault Luxury Resale. The Vault Luxury Resale. And this consignment store is in Missouri. A lot of you might have seen this store before because the store was made popular by Rachel Zoe. She actually partnered with them um, a few years ago and made um, a lot of a, a TV special, a, like a um, reality show about um, consignment stores and partnering with consignment stores. So Rachel Zoe Productions partnered with them and they are a great um, consignment store in Missouri. I mean, when this show came on, it sort of just ignited the fire in me about all things consignment, with, uh, which I already loved anyway. So if you guys are in Missouri, all my Missouri friends, feel free to go by the Vault Luxury Resale. They have great things. They have authentic things. And I've been told in reading, I've been told and I have seen in my reading that they carry an enormous amount of Louis Vuitton. So if you are a Louis Vuitton lover, eh, I'm sort of indifferent, uh, please go there and buy some stuff because they have great, great products. Talking about Louis Vuitton, we're going to be doing a video in the next couple weeks. Y'all are not going to want to miss. We are going to be doing something fabulous, y'all. But with that, my friends, me and my tiger's eye, we are going to be leaving you. Bye, you guys. I'm Debbie the Luxury Hunter, and you have been joining me on the Luxury Hunt. Please subscribe, and please like this video, and leave a comment below. Let me see what you guys are thinking. Bye. See you the next time.